This lesson is on the buyer decision process. The stages of the buyer decision process are important to us because we need to work out how to market to individuals at each of these five stages. The buyer decision process represents a number of stages that the purchaser will go through before actually making the final purchase decision. The consumer buyer decision process and the business organizational buyer decision process are similar to each other. Obviously core to this process is the fact that the purchase is generally of value in monetary terms and that the consumer or the business will take time to actually assess alternatives. For FMCG or fast moving consumer goods, the purchase decision process tends to be shorter or quicker and for habitual purchase behavior or repeat purchases, the decision process is pretty much short circuited. The stages of the buyer decision process are the recognition of need, the search for information and evaluation of all available alternatives, the selection of the final product and its supplier and of course services are included and then ultimately the post purchase evaluation. Let's look at each stage and offer a quick explanation of what it's all about and then let's apply it to an organization to help us work out what it's all about. Stage one is the recognition of need. So let's have a look at that first, this section here. Stage one is the recognition of a particular problem or need and here the buyer has a need to satisfy or a problem that needs solving and this is the beginning of the buyer decision process. Stage two is where we begin to search for information about the product or service. Buyers here begin to look around to find out what's out there in terms of choice and they start to work out what might be the best product or service for solving the problem or satisfying the need. Stage 3 sees the evaluation of alternatives whereby the buyer decides upon a set of criteria by which to assess each alternative. In stage 4 we buy or select a product, service or supplier. Individuals or teams of buyers make the final choice of what to buy and from whom to buy it. Interestingly, the process does not stop at the point of purchase because there is a stage five called the post-purchase evaluation. The process continues even when the product or service is being consumed by the individual or the business. So it doesn't matter. So if it, so if it doesn't meet your needs or solve your problem, you can take action to improve the product or service. And your actions at this point might inform other potential buyers who would be keen to hear about your experiences, good or bad. Let's look at an example based upon buying a new smart cell phone. Let's look at an example based upon buying a new smart cell phone. The first stage is likely to be that you have a need for communication or access to the internet or problem because you cannot interact with friends using social media. The value added by products such as Android, iPhone or Windows Phone and others should satisfy your need or solve your problem. The second stage is where you speak to your friends and surf the internet looking at alternatives which represent stage two or your information search. As a buyer you might visit a local cell phone store or speak to sales staff to help you complete stage three. I.e. your evaluation of alternatives. 
Stage 4 is the selection of product and you go and make your final decision and buy your smartphone from a local store or using an e-commerce website. Stage 5 involves your post-purchase evaluation whereby you use the smartphone and have a positive, negative or mediocre experience of the product. If it doesn't satisfy your needs you take action and more importantly you'll tell others of your problems. If you're pleased with the product you will tell, the, tell your friends and this will influence stage 2 of their information search when they decide to buy a cell phone. Remember that organizations and businesses also go through the process and that teams of individuals contribute to the decision making process. This is called a DMU or decision making process and we also have a video about DMU. That is our lesson on the buyer decision process.